Hey, what's up? Rob Arnold here with a quick and easy exercise that I guarantee will improve your picking, timing, and feel. You only need your picking hand for this exercise, but I'll show some more advanced techniques later on that you can incorporate your fretting hand for an even greater challenge. The exercise consists of four patterns, two of which are the same, over eight bars. And then you simply repeat over and over again until you've got things sounding good. And then you gradually increase the speed at a rate in which you're comfortable with until you feel you've mastered the exercise. Also, this is a great exercise for drummers too, simply using your kick, snare, and hats. In fact, it was shown to me by Chimera drummer Andals Herrick way back in the day, and we would often jam it together to really lock in our feel and syncopation, or just to simply use it like as a warm-up routine. It's pretty cool, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm tuned to C, and everything is gonna happen on the sixth string. But tuning has nothing to do with this exercise, and you can play it in any tuning, and on any string, and on any guitar. You only need one string, and again, tuning does not matter. I'm gonna be slightly palm muting the sixth string, but you don't have to palm mute. It'll just sound cleaner if you do. First, I'm gonna show you the pattern at 120 beats per minute, which is fairly slow, but probably where you should start off with it while you're getting familiar with it and you know, just memorizing it. Uh, then I'm gonna move it to 150 beats per minute, and then finally do 180 beats per minute for an even greater challenge. So here's what it looks and sounds like, and then afterwards I'll be back to explain a little more about what's going on. So that was all alternate picking, as you could see, starting with the downstroke. And first it was two bars of eighth notes, so we'll call that pattern A. And then it was two bars of sixteenth notes, we'll call that pattern B. And then again, two bars of eighth notes, so pattern A again. And then finally, two bars of eighth note triplets, which we'll call pattern C. So it went A, B, A, C. A, B, A, C over and over again. Here was pattern A. Pattern B. Then pattern A again. Then pattern C. Next, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like at 150 beats per minute and then what it sounds like at 180 beats per minute, so you have something to work up to. And then I'll explain the backing tracks I've included for you to jam along with. Okay, so finally, let me explain the backing tracks that I've set up for you here. I've done the three sections, the 120, the 150, and the 180 BPM. Uh, and I'm looping each one back to back for about a minute a piece. And I put timestamps in the description below so you can just cruise to whatever section you like. You can skip over this intro and my explanation of the whole thing and come back and practice this however you'd like to at your leisure. Uh, 
because that's what's important. Coming back to this every single day, practice makes perfect. Really dialing in that right hand, getting it to sound good too. You may get the feel down, you may get the rhythm down, but getting to sound good is important as well. And then after those backing tracks, if you can make it that far, I'm gonna have an advanced lesson where I incorporate my left hand, just a little pattern, same pattern with the right, which you wanna master first, but I'm gonna put my left hand in there for absolute mastery and you can Take that however you want to do it too. Skip strings, do different patterns, all sorts of cool stuff. So really just this whole thing is going to improve your technique overall, which is what I'm here to help you do. And I hope you guys got something from this and enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy the backing tracks. Check those out. Remember the timestamps are going to be below. Utilize those. Come back and see me again, guys. I got a ton of other cool lessons here on the channel. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you on the next one. Happy riffing. Okay, welcome to the advanced lesson. Glad you decided to check it out. So we're just gonna do the same pattern. But I'm gonna add in my left hand here, just doing a chromatic thing. So that was one, two, three, four, three, two, one, oh, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, and double pick that. But be 
because we have groups of three who are going to go. Try that to the 120, master it, see if you can get it at the 150. And here, I'm gonna play it for you, rip it once at the 180. Cheers. <laughs>